All I know is you better have your shit out of my gingerbread house by the time I get off work, okay? That's a, no, that's what I'm telling you, motherfucker. That's what I'm telling um, you. Um, excuse me. Hold on, let me call you back. What's up, Eva? Uh-uh, ain't no what's up, Eva. Bitch, are you clocked in? Yeah. So, bitch, why the fuck is you on the phone instead of on the floor making toys for these motherfucking kids? Bitch, I just got here. Bitch, you're about to be just leaving. Bitch, it's the holidays. Have some fucking joy in your heart, bitch. I'm about to go to the floor and make these goddamn toys, bitch. Damn. Yeah, I'm not fucking around this year. Y'all not about to have me running around like a fucking chicken with my fucking head cut off this year. Hey, Eva, I'm sorry to bother. I know this is only my first day working at the North Pole, but I just have a quick question. What is it? Make it quick. Do I look like Harriet Tubman? Why you ask that? Because y'all trying to work me like I'm a motherfucking slave and it didn't give that. So I think I'm about to put in my two weeks. Bitch, you're dumb as fuck. Get out of my face. I don't know. I'm going to think on it. Santa's workshop, please hold. Hey, Mary. Hey, Eva, bitch. Everybody on time clocked in and doing what the hell they supposed to do? Uh-huh. Everybody doing what they supposed to do. Everybody there on time. Yeah, everybody except you. <laughs> Girl, please, you know if I don't eat, I ain't gonna do shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know that's right. You hear the tea? No. What happened? Girl, Sam, I got a new Miss Claus. His ass do this every two years. Uh -huh. You know, I don't care. As long as she don't bother me. I'm gonna be the one to have to deal with the bitch. Eva! Them new elf bitches was down there watching baddies, and now they down there fighting. Instead of Y'all starting already. It's the first goddamn day. It's a lighter. It's the first day down there working. Y'all already fighting this shit. You know what? Go ahead and get it right now. Oh, shit. I'm sorry about that. What can I do for you? Hey, Evil. I mean, Eva. What's up? So, I requested the 14th through the 16th also so I can get my... Oh, baby, you didn't get approved because I'm not about to let you take off of work so you can put some reindeer chompers in your mouth. The fuck out of my face. Oh, girl, I hate you. Oh! I hate you, too. What the fuck is that smell? Oh, shit. <coughs> What's going on in here, bitch? It's all right, Eva. Uh... I just burned Santa's cookies. It ain't, it ain't no big deal. How the fuck you burn Santa's cookies? I'm sorry, I was on my phone. I was on TikTok. Miss Netta and Charles is funny. Have you seen that video? I don't want to hear it, bitch. You're supposed to be doing your job. The fuck? Go to your gingerbread house. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I'll go to my gingerbread house. I ain't got no problem with that. I'm tired anyway. Shit. What the fuck are they doing down there? Sound like music to me, Eva. Shake that ass if you a ho ho ho. Drop that ass if you a ho ho ho. Santa baby drop it low. Swear that ass if you a ho ho ho. Pop that ass if you a ho ho ho. No ma'am, cut that shit the fuck off. What are y'all doing? Eva, that was Holly. Earn Johnny bitch, don't lie on me like that, bitch. Think y'all about to make us behind scared? Ain't nobody scared of you, Eva. You just think that you ahead of everybody because you the head up that you can just talk to any type of way. Girl, I hit you upside the head with this hammer, girl. That's what I will do. Bitch, please don't make me write you up again. Because, bitch, if you get written up this time, bitch, you're out of a job. So if I was you, I'd sit there and shut the fuck up. Eva! What? Remember how I told you Dasha was throwing up and shit? Her reindeer ass is pregnant. So y'all just down here letting the reindeers fuck on each other? Eva, I can't control them freaky ass deer. Y'all! Oh! Oh! Hey, Eva, you called for me? I sure did, bitch. Okay. Bitch, you fired. I'm fired? Why? Bitch, don't sit up here and play in my face. You know you've been stealing toys from the toy room and taking them back to your fucking gingerbread house. You don't have no proof of that. You can't just fire me like that. I could sue you for that. Bitch, is this you? Oh. Uh, exactly. Eva, I just, I needed something for my kids. They not paying me enough here. I can't provide for my kids right now, so. Girl, fuck you and fuck your ugly ass kids. Bitch, you're not about to get me fired because you want to steal merchandise. Sorry. You know what? Fuck you, bitch. Go ahead and turn in your bag. Okay, I'm gonna fuck up. Whatever. You dumb Bye, bitch. Bye, ho. Ho, 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 motherfuckers. Oh. Um, my name is Sharonda. Miss Claus, if you nasty, though. Hello, Mrs. Claus. Welcome to the North Pole. Baby, you ain't gotta welcome me to the North Pole. Santa already gave me the rundown. You must be Eva, the head elf. Yes, ma'am. That's me. Mm -hmm. First of all, I would just like to say congratulations to you two newlyweds. Oh, baby, I love that man so much. I met him at a strip club in Candyland, baby, and he asked me for a private dance. While I was giving him the dance, baby, he stuck a candy cane up my ass, pulled it out, and licked it, baby. And I had Taco Bell that day. I said, yeah, this is the man for me, period. I'm sorry, Miss Claus, but that's trifling. Oh, baby, I like it trifling, disgusted, and filthy. Miss Claus, is there anything I can do for you right now? Oh, no, I came down here to let you elf bitches know something. If y'all try to go up there and mess with my motherfucking man, baby, it's gonna be a problem. You understand that, Miss Eva? Whoa, Miss Claus, I hope you're not trying to direct that towards me because I do not want that big-ass man. He smell like Bunk and Hennessy. No, ma'am. Oh, okay, girl, girl. I'm just trying to make sure that we are. Oh, Jasmine. Uh, 
Do I know you? Girl, we graduated in 2015. Nadaji in high school? Girl, I ain't never seen you a day in my life. Hold on. Now do I look familiar? Oh, shoot, for I flunker, that is you, girl. Yes, that's me. You didn't glue up. Bitch, you glue down. What'd you say? I couldn't hear you. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. How life been treating you? Oh, girl, I ain't gonna lie to you. Life been dragging me by my weave, girl. That's why I look like this. I'm trying to get my hair done. I ain't got no money, though. I see <laughs> that. Girl, what happened to you? What you mean? Child, you used to be the most popular girl in school. The captain yes, of the I damn was. cheer squad. Uh-uh, don't do that. Don't do that, because I still got it. Five, six, seven, eight. We are Nadaji and Jaguars, and we gonna put, 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 you don't got it no more, but baby, that's okay. It's okay. Oh, uh, you know what? You crazy, girl. You crazy. You crazy. You going to the DMV? Oh, no. I'm going into the CPS office. What you mean? Uh-huh. Child Protective Services. Girl, my kids going to tell the police that they seen me and Chris fighting in the house. Chris, Chris? You mean <laughs> fine-ass Chris? Girl, yes, Chris. Girl, Chris. <laughs> Not the high school sweethearts. Where is ass at now, girl? Girl locked up. And you? Girl, no, nah, in my basement. I get sick inside of him cheating. Like, all he know how to do is cheat, so I gotta put him on a leash. <laughs> oh. Yes, boo, it ain't sweet, no, mom. I'm over okay, it. Okay, well, you tell him I said hello. Oh, um, can you stay out here for a minute? I'm going into the CPS office real quick to sign a few papers. And then when I come out, I need a ride to Walmart. Can you take me to Walmart? Uh, no. Why, girl? You still mad about that stuff from high school? You need to get over that. Like, what did I do that was so bad? Hmm, I don't know. Let me think. I don't know if it was you taking my food every lunch period. Okay, I get that. Or you writing Flanka is a floozy a hundred times on the bathroom wall. Okay, yeah, yeah, I remember. Or that time you put my face in the toilet and flushed it. Oh, I did put your face in the toilet. That was so petty of me. Girl, why are you still tripping off of that? Girl, let it go. Oh, baby, I'm not tripping at all. You just better hope that your ass don't trip while your ass is walking to Walmart. Nice seeing you again, girl. You gonna leave me out of here? Four out Bitch, Bitch, you remember Pookie? Pookie? Pookie who? Pookie Pookie. Pookie Pookie. Bitch, what's his last name? Bitch, Pookie Johnson. You don't remember him? No. Bitch, yes you do. Yes the fuck you do. We all went to school together. Pookie. Poopoo them friend, cousin, nephew, uncle? No, that name ain't ringing no bell. It's not ringing a bell because you ain't got no ringer in the motherfucker. Pookie, we went to school with him. I'm trying to think. Bitch, you don't remember we was all up in that assembly? Bitch, uh-uh. I don't know him. I don't think I know him. You about to piss me off. I'm about to piss you off because I don't know Pookie? Because you do know Pookie, bitch. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So you don't know Pookie? Pookie, flunk ex-boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Bitch, you about to make me so motherfucking mad. Oh, my God. Okay, bitch, you saying all this. Do you got a picture of him? Oh, shit, yeah. I could just do that. Let me see. See, Pookie, bitch. You remember him. Yeah, baby, I don't know Pookie. What the fuck you slapped me for? Because, bitch, you could have just said you didn't know Pookie in the first place. Made me waste my motherfucking breath. Bitch, I said I ain't know Pookie from jump. Fuck you. Bitch, you slapped me because I didn't know Pookie. The fuck? Sick and tired of this shit. I'm so sick and tired of this bitch. Y'all always in my motherfucking Who is y'all? I'm sorry. Uh, girl, what did you get a buck for? I was speaking in general. Oh, okay, well, don't speak in general like that. If you got something to say to somebody, if you're addressing something to somebody, address it to that person. Put a name on it. Fuck, because I couldn't care less about anything oh, okay. that you got going on in this oh, world. Okay. I'm just saying. You got mad. If the shoe fit, wear it. Bitch, the shoe don't fit. The shoe don't fit. Them motherfuckers is ugly, actually. Ugly as fuck. Wouldn't be caught dead in them motherfuckers. Okay, girl. Okay. You know. Fuck talking about some y'all. Y'all. Girl, please, you couldn't be talking about me. Run your mouth. Because I'm one of one. One of one. My name is Danica. I'm Unique Lachey Williams. Okay, bitch, you're not special that ghetto-ass name. Y'all. Saying that shit gonna get your... Okay. Please. Hit okay. your shit. It's cool. What hey, y'all. Uh, oh, y'all in here still asleep? Uh, I guess y'all ain't rolling with me today. Roll Don't worry about it, because y'all can't be rolling with me, because uh, teeth ain't brushed, faces ain't washed, clothes ain't on. That don't make no goddamn sense. I got up early this morning, mm. made me a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. Got up, got my hair done, and I come back here. And y'all asses is still in the bed asleep. It's mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. I guess I'm going to just have to go to the mall and have to eat by myself. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's what I thought. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. And make sure y'all put on some clean socks. All right. Come on. 
So I was shopping at Target, right? Because you know I don't play that Walmart shit. Uh-huh. So I'm standing there or whatever. I'm looking. I'm shopping. And it's this lady. And it's a lady that walked up to the lady. And she was like, stop fucking with my baby daddy, basically. And then she was like, ain't nobody fucking with your baby daddy. Your baby daddy said he was single anyway. Okay. She was like, I seen you in his DMs. You look stupid because he lived with me. And while you in his DMs, I'm sitting on his face every night. Bitch, that must have set her off because they got to fight. What? No, they didn't. Not at Target. That's ghetto. Yes, honey. The bitch hit her with a good three-piece. Pop, pop, pink. The baby mama backs up like this. Like, she didn't know she got hit. She was stunned. So when she finally got her life back on, bitch, she hit her with a tap, tap, bat, 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 boop, boop, boop. And then the bitch fell to the motherfucking ground. Baby mama gets on top of her. Me, 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 me. She drags the bitch. Skrrr. Mind you, we in the motherfucking cereal aisle. The bitch grabs a motherfucking box of Lucky Charms, start hitting her in the head. Docker, docker, docker. So then the bitch that was on the ground, she was like, let me get up, let me get up. Couldn't be me, but she let her get up. So then they ran it back, they ran it back, they squared it back up. They was like, one, two, ready, go. And then the bitch got her. Da, 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 da. Hit her with a motherfucking Mortal Kombat move, bitch. So then the baby mama grabs her by her hair and just start going. Blah, da, 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 da. She did that for a good three minutes, bitch. So then the bitch like, let my hair go. You beating in my head over there. Mm. She lets her hair go. The bitch runs. Brrr. Baby mama start running after her. The fuck? I would too. Brrr. Cause you fuck with my baby daddy like what? So then police get there. Daddy stopped the baby mama. The baby mama ran up on her ass again. Sock up, sock up, sock up. Boop, boop, boop. Then her ass went to jail. You have to be there to see it. Whew, that was a lot. I guess so. Uh, thank you for the story. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, fuck you. I wasted all that motherfucking energy telling you the story. You don't even give a fuck. Oh, shit. It got late. Oh, did it? What time is it? Girl, 8 o'clock. Oh, damn. It did get late. It did get late. Mm -hmm. What you finna do? Shit, I don't know, bitch. What you on? Bitch, I'm about to be on my way to my room to get in my bed. The fuck? I know that's right. So, yeah. What you finna do? Oh, bitch, you can go and go to your room. I can let myself out. Girl, no the fuck you can't. Take your ass home, bitch. You got oh, kids Oh, girl, bitch, please. You could have told me that you was ready for me to leave. I know I do got kids and shit. I know. I need to go home to them. What the fuck? Hey, I'll call you tomorrow. Hey, mama. What's up, baby? So tell me why I go to the mall, right? Uh-huh. Guess who I see is at the mall? Who you see? Lachey. You talking about that girl with the sloppy body you used to work with? Yes, girl, mama. So basically, if she look different, like she got something done to her body. What? What she get, a BBL? I don't know, but she kind of looked like a bug. Like a, a bug? What, a, what type of bug? Like an ant. You know how they got them fat backs? Oh, that's bad. You know what? She probably got it done over at Ray Ray Nim Tattoo Shop. They do tattoos upstairs and ass shots downstairs. Mm-hmm, for $25. So what you do when you seen her? I hope you punched her in her... No, she had her kids with her. Yeah, you should have whooped her ass right in front of her kids. Mama, it wasn't even like that. Like, she came to me, like, on some, oh, my God, like, girl, huh <laughs> like, we being cool type thing. Like, you know, I don't know. She was acting weird. Mm. I guess new body, new attitude. Hell. <laughs> but that's who she was there with. Who? Darren. Darren? Darren Williams, mama. You talking about Nancy husband? Oh, hell no. She is a slut. But her mama is a slut, too. So the apple don't fall that far from the tree. Child, that is a mess. That is such and a Darren, mess. And Darren know he wrong, too. Because, you know, him and Nancy been going back and forth on Facebook. See, he want a divorce. From Nancy, but Nancy's not signing the divorce papers. So Darren blasted her on Facebook and stuff like that. And you know what? It's just a big fat mess. But I don't miss a, a post. I read every single comment and everything like that. So that's probably who he's staying with to get away from Nancy, crazy ass. Okay, so you know it wouldn't be me if I wouldn't have uh, took a picture of him. Mm -hmm. Oh, you took a picture. So my thing is, should I post it on Facebook and be messy? Uh-uh, don't post it. Don't post it. Mm -mm, this ain't got nothing to do with you, okay? Send it to my phone. Let me post it on Facebook. Mama, but you always say put situations like this in God's hands. Well, honey, God's hands is too busy to be messing around with this mess. Let me do it. Who gonna whoop my ass? Lachey ain't gonna whoop my ass. 
And if she got a problem, I'll beat her new ass mm. off of her. Uh, mm. Hell, Nancy crazy ass, mm. I'll just talk bad to her, make her cry. And if Darren got something to say, I'll shoot him. Kapaya, kapaya. Whatever, I'm about to go with Sabrina and get some tacos from the taco spot. Uh-uh. Hell, you ain't asked me if I wanted to go. Girl, you don't want to go. No, I don't want to go. Just bring me back four carne asadas tacos. Okay, mom. bring that sauce, too, because last time you brought my food, you didn't give me no sauce. I had to eat them dry ass tacos. Okay. I love you. All right. It's open. Hey. Uh-uh. Bruno, stop jumping on people. Come here. Uh, do it by it. I know you did not just call my son an it. My bad. What fuck out of here? The fuck you just standing there for? Come in. Uh-uh. Can you put your dog up first? No, I'm not putting up my son for you because you uncomfortable and you scared. No, this is his house. The fuck? Ain't nobody scared. I'm just allergic. Oh, uh, well, then you can leave. Sorry. Come on, just put your dog up. No, fuck you. You can leave like the fuck I said. Period. Right. I'll just call Hell, you. Hell, that loud-ass jumpsuit you got on, scaring my baby. It's Ivy Park. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Mike Tasia, come here. Yes, ma'am. What's up, my big 12-year-old? What's up? <clears throat> Did you enjoy your birthday, baby? It was cool. I liked it. I had fun. See, I told you Chuck E. Cheese would be fun still. Mm -hmm. Here, your daddy didn't make it to the birthday party, but he thought dropping off a gift late and at the last minute would suffice. So here you go. Ooh. What's in there? It's just a car. See, this is why I can't stand my gas. Always doing some stupid shit. What the card say? Happy 12th birthday to my baby girl, Love Daddy and Kara. Love Daddy and Kara? I can't stand how you trying to force this new girlfriend on you. I can't stand her ass. Is she cool or whatever? I guess. Is there some money in there? Yes. How much? $100. A hundred dollars? Uh-uh, let me hold that for you. Oh, my God, you always taking my money? Uh-uh, let me hold it. You don't need to be walking around with all that damn money. Hell, uh-uh, nope. See, what you gonna do is, anytime you need a dollar or a two or maybe even twenty dollars, you come ask me if you want some chips at the vending machine at school, that's when you come ask me for your money. It's still your money, but I'm just holding it for you. Yes, ma'am. You got an attitude, little girl? No, I don't got an attitude. I just want to keep my money for myself. No, absolutely not. You can't even keep up with your house keys. You think you're going to keep up with some money? Oh, my God. Okay. Little girl, don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you. You better not slam my dick. And I'm really keeping it now. I might even buy myself something with it. Since you got an attitude. Yeah. Hey, mama. Keon, come here. Yes, ma'am. How was your day? Uh, my day was good. You got something you want to show me? No, ma'am. Oh, well, your teacher sent me an email today, and she said that the school sent home uh, report cards with y'all on Wednesday, and they had to be signed and returned by Monday. When was you going to tell me about that? I for I'm sorry, Mom. I forgot I was going to tell you. So where is it at? Let me see. Yes, ma'am. Let's see. Oh. Uh, you know D's is for dummies and F's is for flunkies, right? Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. Shit, the only decent grades you got is in gym, art, and lunch. When the hell they start giving out grades for lunch? Mm, go set this on the table. I'm going to sign it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so right now what I need you to do is pull out your damn laptop, log on to your student portal, and do all them late and missing assignments that your teachers assigned to you. And I need that done by 11.59 p.m. Do you understand me? Okay. Or I'm going to be beating your ass by midnight. And set that phone right next to that report card on that table. Yes, ma'am. Uh, excuse me, baby. Yes? What's your last name? Shuki Berry. Margaret Shuki Berry, your mama. Uh, yeah, why? I knew it, I knew it, baby. You probably don't even remember me, do you? No, I don't. 
sorry. That's all right. That's all right, baby. I used to change your diapers, baby. Oh, really? <laughs> Child, let me tell you, your shit smelled like a grown-ass man after eating five chalupas from Taco Bell. Mm-mm-mm, child. <laughs> Actually, you was my baby before I had my own babies. Is that right? You still got that peanut allergy? Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, mm-mm-mm. I remember you was about maybe two. Your mama made you a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, uh huh. And your face broke out, you couldn't breathe. I'm the one who took you to the hospital. That's how you found out you got the peanut allergy, yep. Mm -hmm. All right, baby, I don't want to keep you too long. Uh, tell the family I said hi. My name is Joyce. I'm a family friend, okay? Well, okay, Joyce. All right, baby. All right. Okay. All right, now. All right. Mm -hmm. Here you go, Jackson. What's this for? It's money for the book fair. Emma was telling me it was this week. Oh, so you're giving us more money? What do you mean, more money? Mom gave us both money for the book fair yesterday. She did? Oh my god. What? Don't turn around, but there's a girl I went to high school with over there. The brunette? Yes. Oh, let's go say hi. No, you know social interactions give me stress sweats. Well, she's coming over here, so you better go hide. Alicia? Oh my god, what are you doing here? Oh, just running errands. Ugh, long time no see. Right? It's been, what, like nine, ten years? Are you doing okay? You look like you're sweating a little bit. Shut up. Has it really been a decade since we graduated? Yeah, I just got invited to our ten-year reunion. Jeez, maybe it's time I start getting Botox finally. Right? Look at these wrinkles. Not right now, though. I'm due with this little guy in March, and kids are expensive. Congrats. Can't believe you're going to be a mom. Yeah, actually, he's our third. John and I have two little ones at home. John Smith? Yeah, that's my husband. I think he works with my dad. He kind of looks like Ed Sheeran a little bit. Yep, that's him. Wow, small world. Hey, did you see Adam's in town? No, I thought he was in prison. Nope, apparently he's out on good behavior or something. What? Yeah, and Lily's here too. Yeah, I saw she lives in California now and... Apparently, she made out with Machine Gun Kelly or something. I have no idea. Man, why is it so fun gossiping about people you went to school with? Right? So glad I ran into you. I know, but we probably should get going. Okay, girl. See, that wasn't so bad. <sighs> My God, you're ridiculous. Come on in. Oh, thanks, Mrs. Smith. Whoa, your Christmas tree is huge. Yeah, we had to use a ladder to decorate. It was low-key kind of scary. Oh, hey, Maddie. Yeah, my family usually has a fake Christmas tree that smells like dirty basement. Oh, hey, what took you so long getting here? My mom drives like a grandma. Same. I do not. I put the Mercedes on cruise control and go exactly the speed limit, unless I'm late to my Pilates class. Oh, no, can't be late to Pilates. Hey, Nicholas. I got you a Christmas present. You did? How sweet. Oh, that reminds me. Remy made Christmas cookies this morning. Do you guys want some? Yes. Wait, who's Remy again? Oh, he's our personal chef. Nick, I feel bad. I didn't get you anything. That's okay. Just having you here is my gift. Ugh, I still can't get over the fact that you're dating my brother. Hey, we're not dating. We're just like hanging out. We've gone on two dates and they went pretty good if you ask me. Hey, language. Sorry, but it's true. Hey, do you want to decorate gingerbread houses? Sure. We opened some of our presents yesterday and I got the coolest gingerbread house making kit. Why'd you already open your presents? We had so many gifts under the tree, it threw off the whole aesthetic of the living room. Oh, must be nice. Have you opened your presents yet? No, we're waiting till Christmas. What was that? <laughs> What? What's going on? Your dad fell off the roof putting up the Christmas lights. Kids, who's ready to decorate the tree? Do we have to? Come on, it'll be fun. Honey, it's tiny. <laughs> That's what she said. Hey, go grab the decoration box while I try to find something to cut the bottom with. Here, just use the bread knife. It's kind of like a saw. Do you really think that's gonna work? I don't know. I'm not a logger. Can I go back to my room? No, we're doing this as a family. Ow, I got a splinter. Well, suck it up. We all have problems, okay? Honey, this looks bad. Here, let me fix the star. Is this all the lights we have? I don't know. You're the Christmas lady. Christmas lady? Can we just get this over with, guys? Yes, okay. Make sure the balls are evenly distributed. That's what she said. Now, just decorate. Decorate the tree. Come on, guys. You used to love decorating the tree. Well, we're grown up now, Dad. I mean, I am. I'm not sure about him. What? Okay, look. We're going to alternate colors so we can have an aesthetic-looking tree for once. Why? Are you trying to be Insta-famous or something? What's that? Is that some TV show? No, Mom. Ooh, one second. I have to take this. Hello? Jeez, Louise. It's going to be Christmas by the time we get this thing done. Hey, do you think these are still good? How old are they? They expired in 2020. This should be fine. It's just a candy cane. Mom, that's so irresponsible. Irresponsible? Okay, then let's talk about you sneaking out last night. What? Busted. Sorry, that was Grandma. She asked if we we could host Christmas this year. And what did you say? I said yes. Now the tree has to look good. Okay, everyone in. Family huddle. God, my aunt's in the hospital. Should I go get the vlog camera? Yes, it sounds like it was a skiing accident. Finally, some good content. Okay, pretend you're asleep. Right now? Yes, right now. Okay, you don't have to be mean about it. Shh, we're rolling. Hey guys, today I'm gonna pull a prank on my wife by putting ketchup on her face. She's asleep right now. Dude, you moved. Ugh, start over. Hey, remember we need to film that apology video today. Ugh, today? Yes, we can't post any normal content until we release it. And I need you to look sad. Like this. This? No, more like this. Hey guys, there's something that we've been wanting to address lately. Whoa, that was good. Right? People are totally gonna forgive us for Are we bad people? Yeah, but the internet loves us for some reason. Hey, babe. What? Name a woman. Um, you? Correct. If he said anything else, I was gonna make him buy me a designer bag. Well, guess what, babe? What? I got you a new bag anyways. Babe!
Today, we're finally revealing the name of our future TikTok star. I was hoping for a boy, but it looks like we're getting a little princess. And her name is going to be Lake and Finley Barbie Abraham Smith. The whole birth process is gonna be on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. God, I need to take a Can somebody help me wrap these gifts? Oh, do you see that corner? It's atrocious. Now I have to start all over. Aha, good luck opening this one, Grandma. That's 15 layers of duct tape and a half a roll of saran wrap. It's a little messy, but that should do, right? Wait, I didn't buy anything. Can you just put my name on the card too? What? It's not about the packaging. It's about the gift that's in the package. My sister's gonna love this present, okay? Wait, can you go get me something to wrap this in? Apparently we're opening gifts in like five minutes. Hmm, how do I wrap this lipstick so that mom doesn't know I got her lipstick? <gasps> I've got it. It's perfect. She'll have no idea. Idea. Do you get it? Because it looks like a broom. I've wrapped my kids presents in the same wrapping paper for the past 21 years. <gasps> oh, where is the time gone? Don't worry, I won't use this bit. What? I ran out of tape and my girlfriend had these random sticky things laying around. You see, she's gonna unwrap this and think that she's getting new shoes, but in reality, it's spicy pickles. Have you tried one of these? They're actually very good. Damn my arthritis. Want to know the cool thing about my gorgeous wrapping paper? It's sourced from all natural and recycled products. I mean, I think it is. I actually don't know. Simple, easy, and adorable. Just like me. Wait. What are you doing? I'm playing Fruit Ninja. Lame. Angry Birds is where it's at. Heck yeah. Where'd you get those silly bands? Oh, Marcus gave them to me. We're boyfriend girlfriend now. You are? Yeah, I was singing that song. Like a G6, like a G6. And I was like, I thought it said cheese stick. Now we're boyfriend girlfriend. Whoa, that's like crazy romantic, right? It was iconic. More iconic than Lady Gaga's meat dress. What? Lady Gaga wore a dress made out of meat last week and everyone's talking about it. It's disgusting. It is, but it's also kind of cool. Like my iPod Nano. Ew, that's so 2005. My new iPad is where it's at. Whoa, that thing's huge. That's what she said. Ew, and by the way, we haven't even kissed yet. Okay, well, I was gonna kiss you yesterday under the bleachers, but I got nervous. Wait, have you kissed anybody before? Yeah, a bunch of girls. He's lying. I saw in Mythbusters if you look to the top left corner, that means you're lying. Okay, fine, I haven't kissed anybody, but you know what? Nick Jonas is waiting for marriage too. To kiss somebody? I think so, but he is dating Miley Cyrus right now, and like, who wouldn't want to kiss Miley Cyrus? Actually, I think he's dating Selena Gomez. That's true, I read it in Teen Vogue magazine at the dentist last week. Okay, well, I gotta go to practice, but I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye. Yep, bye. This is not my normal type of content, but I'm going to a Christmas party tomorrow, and I need your help picking out an outfit. See, I have the fashion sense of a middle school boy. I already FaceTimed my two best friends, and neither of them answered. So anyways, this is outfit number one. One. And I'd probably wear this jacket. Next one is a little bit more casual, but still kind of Christmassy and fun. I don't know. Next up is this guy. I feel like this outfit looked cuter in my head. I don't know. Like, now, I know the pants need to be ironed. And here's the next one. Fun fact, this little vest was my mom's like in the 80s. I really like this one, but the coat is itchy. I don't know if I can handle that. Anyways, those are my options. I trust your judgment, so I have a vote on my Instagram story. And whichever one wins is what I'll wear. Right, what do you think? Oh, wow, it's perfect. Are you sure? Yeah, no, I love it. <laughs> Babe, it's so bad. What? <laughs> Can I come over, please? Yeah, I'll leave the door unlocked. Hey, babe. Whoa, what'd you do? I got a haircut. Do you like it? Yeah, it's different. Ugh, you hate it. No, babe, you look good. Are you sure? I feel like you're just saying that. No, you look like Joe Dirt. What? That must be my best friend. She'll tell me the truth. Wait, how does she know where I live? Oh, God, what did she do to you? Is it that bad? You look like Joe Dirt. That's what he said. Dude, all I wanted was cute bangs like yours or Taylor Swift's, and now I have this mullet. Just go get me some scissors, and I'll try to help you out, okay? No. Come on, it's not like I'm gonna make it any worse. Fine. Wait, what are you guys doing? She's gonna try to fix my hair. No, babe, you're beautiful just the way you are. It's very nice, but you don't have to lie to me. I'm not lying. I think it's kind of edgy and fun. Really? It's kind of giving, like, girl Billy Ray Cyrus. Girl, do not listen to him. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna leave it. What? Okay, did you you at least chew out your hairdresser. No, I said I loved it and tipped her 20%. You what? Girl, you've got to stand up for yourself. It was awkward and I didn't want to hurt her feelings. Oh my goodness. You know I think you're pretty no matter what, but I want you to have this. I hate my life. Hey, how was work today? Give me one second. Okay. <gasps> That's more like it. Hey, what were you saying, babe? Oh, nothing. I was just asking how your day was. It was good. I mean, Janice was being a b again, but what's new? Wait, Janice? My coworker, the one who cheats on her boyfriend and has a pet frog. Oh, yeah. You have no idea who I'm talking about. Not a clue. But are you going to bed? It's like 7 p.m. No, I'm just going to scroll and watch videos. In bed? We have a perfectly good couch, you know. The bed's just so much more comfy. Hey, are you hungry? Starving. I was thinking about making some spaghetti. Yeah, I mean, whatever you want is fine. I'm probably just going to eat some chips or something. You just keep those by your bed? Maybe. I thought you were starving. Don't you want some real food? I'm actually kind of nauseous. Again? Maybe you should go to the doctor or something. Nah, I'm gonna do some online shopping. That usually helps. Okay, well, I'm gonna go play some video games. Wait, no. What? I thought we were gonna hang out. You said you were just gonna online shop. Yeah, but you can still sit next
next to me and we can have quality time. That's not quality time. It is to me. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna play one game. Fine, I have some work to do anyways. Work? Yeah, I have to wash my hair, shave, and I'll probably just end up doing an everything shower. What's an everything shower? If you watch the videos I send you, you'd know. Sorry. Ugh, me too. I think I'm just hangry. Okay, well, let's just order something then. Good idea. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this paper's just so pretty. I don't want to rip it. Okay, I'm just gonna save this. All right. Does anyone have a pocket knife I can use? I wonder what's in here. I'm just kidding. Santa, how'd you know? Is it socks? No, it's definitely clothes though, right? Wait, everyone quiet. Ah, everybody's looking at me. This is awkward. Like when people are singing you the happy birthday song. What do we got in here, a million dollars? I'm kidding, I just hope my ex-wife isn't in this box. Are you in there, honey? Oh, an iPad. That's cool, I guess. This all just means so much to me. Being around family. We should take a group picture. Hey, come on in. Is that a... It's our Christmas tree. The cat kept knocking ours down, so we just got rid of it. Oh, do you think we look alike? People say we look alike. Yeah, I mean, you guys kind of have the same eyes. Speaking of eyes, I'm exhausted. I've been up since 5 a.m. Bob, why'd you wake up at 5? Somebody decided it was time to wake up. He's like my personal little alarm clock. He just comes in and wakes you up every morning? Yeah, he'll climb on my head or knock stuff off my dresser until I eventually get up. Why don't you just lock him out of the room? Because it makes him sad, and plus he'll just howl at the door until I get up anyways. Cats don't howl. Oh, yes they do, but I wouldn't trade this little muffin for anything, would I? Ugh, does he always shed that much? Yeah, my clothes are always covered in hair, and the carpet sometimes has puke on it, so watch your step right there. Well, if he's puking all the time, why don't you take him to the vet? I have. They say it's anger pukes. What? Apparently cats puke out of spite when they don't get what they want. No offense, but he kind of seems like a pain in the ass. Hey, don't you talk about my baby like that. Sorry. Yes, if I didn't have a cat, I'd be way richer and way less tired, but I also wouldn't have the will to live. No, I get it. That's how I feel about my kids. Hey, what are you going to do if you have a kid one day and they're allergic? Get rid of the kid. <laughs> I'm kidding, but that's not going to happen. Sorry. Okay, you ready to go? Yes, just give me like 10 minutes to say goodbye. Kids! What's up? Yes, Dad? You guys really like these vitamin gummies now, don't you? Yeah, I do. They're yummy. Which one of you switched them? It wasn't me. I don't know. I guess I'll just have to check the camera. Hi, yeah, welcome to Lush. Oh, hello. Um, I'm looking for a Christmas present for my niece. Oh, well, you came to the right place. We've got so many Christmas things. Right, okay. Um, I'm just not sure what she likes. Okay, well, I would recommend Snow Fairy. It's everyone's favorite. Oh, no, I've smelled that one before. It's disgusting. Right, okay. Uh, do you want to just smell some things and see what you like? <laughs> Oh no, she wouldn't like that. Do you know if she likes bath bombs or would she prefer like a body wash? Well, I don't know what she does in her free time, do I? She's my niece. Right, okay, uh, but everyone likes bath bombs, so why don't you get her one of them? Oh, I don't know, she might be allergic to them. Right, okay, well, all the ingredients are on the back if you wanna have a look. Well, I don't know what she's allergic to, so that's not gonna help. Okay, um, I don't really know how to help then, I'm afraid. Oh, so much for good customer service. I thought you guys were meant to be helpful. There's only so much I can do to help. Right, can you just test a bath bomb out so I can see what it's like? Yep, I'll just put this one in the water. Is that it? Well, what else do you expect a bath bomb to do? <sighs> Welcome to Subway. Afternoon, how are you? What do you want? Oh, uh, I'll get a six inch hearty Italian. <sighs> Okay, and what meat? Oh, I always find it so hard to choose what meat to have. Uh, chicken, please. Do you want it cheese and toasted? Uh, don't suppose there's someone else that could serve me? No, it's just me. Oh, uh, that's fine then. Um, cheese and toasted, yeah. What salad? Uh, random question, but, uh, is your manager around? Yeah, why? No reason, uh, just wanted to have a little chat. Okay. Hi, I'm the manager. Can I help? You're the manager? Yes, can I help you? Uh, never mind, don't worry. Um, I'll get lettuce. No, go on, you clearly want to complain about something. No, uh, no complaints here. Uh, lettuce, please. Okay. It must be great being a manager at a job that you clearly love. I hate this job. Really? I couldn't tell. Uh, excuse me, is that water? Yes. The bottle's see-through. I can clearly see that's apple juice. Okay, but I'm thirsty. I have a right to drink. Yes, but you're only allowed to drink water in class. Put that away, please. That's not fair. I can't focus if I'm dehydrated. Right, I'll let you go and buy some water from the canteen, but be quick. <sighs> right, as I was saying... Uh, why is Holly allowed to drink juice and I'm not? Oh, yeah, Holly, you're only allowed to drink water. We've just been over this. But this is just water. You've clearly 
got juice in there. You're not fooling anyone. You also told me you don't like boring plain water, so it's obviously flavoured. No, it's actually scented. I beg your pardon. Don't get smart with me. No, seriously, that's what air up is. It's literally just water. Oh, well, carry on then. Anyway, class, I want one of them. Oh, this must be the house. Uh, hello? Hi, here's your pizza. Pizza? I haven't ordered any pizza. Oh, really? Um, sorry. Yeah, it's not for me. Uh, it's just because uh, it says it's this house. Well, I just said I haven't ordered any pizza. Okay, that's okay. Um, I'll just have to check the address and go to the right place. Sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, sorry, again. Oh, wait, is that my pizza? Oh, sorry? Oh, I ordered a pizza, I just didn't tell my husband. <laughs> did you say my wife's the one that ordered this pizza? She did, yeah. Okay, we'll just take it back because she's not meant to be having pizza. Um, but she's ordered it and already paid for it. Oh, well just tell the people at Domino's that you couldn't find the house or something. But I'm already here now and I have spoken to your wife, so I can't just not give her the pizza. Well, great. You're really going to cause us some arguments tonight then. Okay. Yeah, see, my wife's on a diet. She's not meant to be having pizza. Um, should I just leave this here with you? Oh, I guess if you have to, I'll dispose of it myself then. Psst. Holly. Yes? You know how we're doing Secret Santa this year? Yeah. I was just wondering, I don't suppose you know, silly question, but who's got me for Secret Santa? Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh, come on, you can tell me. I won't tell anyone. Well, why would you want to know? I just want to know who I have to be extra nice to so they get me a good present. Or maybe just be nice to everyone. Oh, but that's so much effort. I genuinely don't know who's got you anyway. You will tell me. So is it Amy? What? Is Amy the one that's got me for Secret Santa. What? No. Okay, that narrows it down. I've got it. It's Sally, isn't it? What are you doing in here? You're not even on break. Sally was asking me what my favourite chocolate is. She's obviously got me for Secret Santa. No, you're wrong again. Oh, I will get to the bottom of this. Right, it's got to be Ben. Oh, yeah, it is. Wait, really? You're just going to tell me like that? And I think he said he's got you some lush bath bombs. Oh, uh, why would you tell me? Well, you've been asking all day. Yeah, but I didn't actually want to know. Oh. Oh, Secret Santa's quite boring now. Has your shopping all scanned for you? Oh yeah, just pass me the bag, love, thanks. And that's £126 today. Oh, I think I've left my card in the car. Can I just pop out and get it? Oh yeah, that's fine. Do you want to just leave your shopping with me? Oh, it's no problem. I can just take it with me now. Oh, uh, sorry, you haven't paid for it yet, though. Yeah, it'll be quicker. I'll just put it in my car now. I'll come back and literally tap my card and I'll be on my way. Uh, I just can't let you leave the store with it without paying for it. Do you not trust me? My car's right outside. I'll literally be like five seconds. Uh, no, sorry. Can you just leave it with me, please? No need to worry. I'll be right back. Oh. oh. She's not coming back, is she? Silly girl. <laughs> this is literally my bag of rubbish. <laughs> Look at this iPhone, mummy. Hmm. <gasps> Whoa, did you just drop that? Yeah, um, I'm sorry. Oh, I bet it's broken. Is it okay? No, it's completely smashed. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Yeah, well, you are gonna have to pay for this. Huh? Me? I'm only a kid. Well, then your mum's gonna have to pay for it. But I don't know where she's gone. Well, we'll just have to wait here for her to come back then. Right, okay. Are you gonna call the police? The police? What? No, you just need to pay for the damages. But what if I can't pay for it? Then will you call the police? Oh, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Come on, let's go. Oh, wait, mummy, no, I need to... Uh, don't answer back. Come on. But we need to pay for this phone. Uh, no, we're not buying anything. Come on. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. <sighs> You're lucky. Uh, the manager told Benny it's non-uniform day today. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Oh, hi Benny. Why are you not wearing uniform? It's non-uniform day? Is it? Yeah, our manager told me it was. Right, well, he didn't tell us that. <laughs> well, great, I've been pranked. Benny, get back to work. Help that customer. You want me to help customers when you told me not to wear uniform today? Yes, no one cares what you're wearing. Just help customers. Right. Fine. Excuse me. Can I help? What? Uh, I mean, did you find everything you're looking for today? Mind your own business. Well, you're quite rude. God, you don't wear a uniform and everyone speaks to you like you're nothing. Oh, hi. Let me scan that for you. Uh, 
And that's 50p, please. Why would I give you 50p? Well, this is usually how buying an item works. But you're just a customer like me. Oh, I do work here. I was just told it's non-uniform day today. Uh, where's your manager? Oh, he's just over there. Benny, come here, please. What? I have a moustache stuck to me. <laughs> Wanted to see me? Benny, why are you not wearing uniform? It's very unprofessional. You know you told me it was non-uniform day. Okay, but why are you serving customers without uniform on? You told me to serve customers. Benny, it's not good enough. You're fired. You're firing me over a uniform? We've just had too many complaints about you not wearing uniform. You set me up. You told me not to wear my uniform today. You knew I would serve customers just so you could fire me. Maybe I set you up. Maybe I didn't, but a complaint is a complaint. Well, I'll tell you right now, you're making a big mistake because I'm your best employee. See you guys, I got fired, I'm never coming here again. Oh, excuse me, dear. Oh, hi, you love, what do you need? I just need some help, please. The manager was helping me, but he's not very nice. Is that right? Oh, you're definitely the nicest person in here, dear. Thank you, that means so much. Oh, Benny? Yes? You can have your job back. I don't want it. Hey, look, I'm going to set alarms on all of these iPhones. They're all going to go off at once. It'll be so funny. Have I ever told you you're a genius? I'm going to do it to the laptops. Oh, yeah. Hiya, did you need any help? Uh, no, we're just looking. No worries, that's fine. Were you interested in the iPhones? Do you need some help with it? Oh, no, I don't need help. <laughs> all done. And now we wait. Three, two, one. <laughs> Huh? What's going on? Uh, I think someone set all the alarms on the iPhones and laptops. Oh my gosh, I need to turn all of these off. I'm so sorry. Oh, this is so funny. Right, excuse me. I need to go and have a look at the CCTV to see who did that. Wait, really? Yes, whoever did that is going to be banned from the store. He did it. Hey! Hey love, I just bought these at another till, but I want you and your co-workers to have them for doing such a good job this Christmas. Oh, thank you so much, but unfortunately I can't take them from you. Why not? For some reason it's just the policy, it's like you can't tip us and we can't take items from you. Oh, come on, just put them in the staff room. I really wish I could, because it's really nice of you and everyone would love them, but I really can't. Look, I've already paid for them, love, so you might as well take them. Okay, well, thank you. Oh, Holly, did you buy these for all of us? Oh, no, a nice customer bought them for us. You know you're not allowed to take things from customers. I know, but she literally would not leave me alone until I took them, so... Wow, I've got to throw all of these away now, what a waste. I just finished recording this video and my heart literally skipped a beat when I was editing it and I saw this lady at the bottom under the table. I've used this background a few times and I've never noticed her there. My heart literally skipped a beat.